Hello everyone, this is Woodsmith Furniture and this is our very first video. Our focus will be on epoxy furniture and the process involved in making them. So we will take you through how we are setting a frame, putting the wood inside, pouring the epoxy, releasing from the frame after 7 days once the epoxy is set, sanding and polishing of the furniture and uh, finally the finished product. So let's take a look. We will start with setting the frame for the pour. The measurements have to be taken as per the dimensions of the wood used. Silicon gel is applied under the frame to make sure that no leakage will happen during the epoxy pour and the frame itself will stay strong. The gel is again applied on the sides just to seal any possible gaps. Two out of four frames are set, let's move on to the wood. This is the wood, it's tetramelis. As you can see our friend right here is sanding the wood to a fine finish before putting it into the frame. A small portion has to be cut off. There are some final cleaning up and vacuuming to remove any grains that could probably come out and get caught inside the epoxy cast. A border line is drawn under the wood using the silicon gel. It will prevent epoxy wastage to some extent. Now we have kept one piece of wood inside the frame. We are fixing the third frame right now. Guys if you plan to do this by yourself, make sure that you fix the frame firmly and take enough measures to prevent any leakage of the epoxy. The last frame and the second piece of the wood is in place. We'll check with box levels to make sure that the surfaces are even. And our frame is ready for the pour now. We are using the epoxy and the hardener on a 3 is to 1 ratio. We will mix the resin and the hardener nicely. Adding the black pigment. Few drops are sufficient, but you can make it more or less depending on how deep your shade has to be. We are starting the epoxy pour now. We have used about 16 kilos of epoxy to fill this up. The pour is almost complete. As you can see the epoxy is leveled up to the surface. We are detaching the frames after 7 days of setting period. It appears very firm from the outside. Let's take a look inside. It's about 2 inches thick. We'll now move on with the sanding and leveling. At least 5 different types of sanding papers will be used here.
applying a sealer polish which will seal and level all the small pores after which it will be sanded again. This process will be repeated a couple of times to achieve a fine finish. Now the table is ready for the final polishing. We have like two more tables which are being polished currently. Applying the wood finish will be the finishing touch for this table. Two layers of this will be good enough. Hope you enjoyed it. If there is anything further that you would like to know please do let us know in the comment section below. And if you would like to order a custom epoxy table for yourself there is a link to a quotation form below. You can go in the uh, fill in all the details and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next one.